Some more Robin gameplay. Florida's very own. Getting ready to face off against the Bows? The Bows? Oh, is this the Bows? The I bow. believe it is. Yes. Okay. Very interesting. We've gone to Florida Battlefield misses. Game 1. I don't think I'd take Robin to Battlefield ever. I'm not ever going to let Robin go to Battlefield with ease. I'm going to do I will scumbag you. We're going to Lilat. Okay. Honestly, with a character like <laughs> Bowser Jr., I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be another projectile battle, but Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is just going to be everywhere. Might even be better if you play Bowser. Heck, after UGC. Oh. Apparently Bowser's the yeah, I know. Apparently Bowser's the anti-meta. This is one of Bowser's worst matchups against the Robin and Robin is oh. that's his best match. Hey man, all you need is six moves. You need Nair, you need pivot grab, you need up special, you need up air. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't really need too many moves when you're Bowser, man. You don't, but oh, you, you need to, back you air to, too. You have to be able to get into Robin, and right. Robin unfortunately does not let that happen. You're right, man. Now, obviously, a Bowser, a huge hurt box. This is not going to happen. Bowser has uh, has two bet. He's, he's bad against projectiles, and he's bad against swordsmen. Robin has both. <laughs> And a lot of both. And heck, a lot even, of both. even the sword turns yes. into a projectile. Even the sword turns into a projectile. The projectiles turn into more projectiles. That they like. do. Oh, my goodness. Let's go ahead and jump right into this first match here. Wave 3 pulls. We're here on Battlefield starting it off. This is exactly what I thought it would be. It'd be like, all right, fine. You know, even though Robin is best on Battlefield, I'll take you wherever. Yep. My projectiles are ridiculous. So playing out one save. Actually going for down throw to up to it as he lost the Levin sword. I like that. I want to sell anything out. Yep. It's like what we're seeing here. Playing it safe. No, Sorachu, though. Delicious. I'll take that. Nope. Missing that back air. It's going to get punished for it. Already starting to look real bad for the Bows. Another. Just, really just a matter of him missing all of his punishes and all of his attacks. He's just not spacing correctly. Yeah, unfortunately not. And he's allowing Daph with his super long range character to just pace him out. And a lot of people think stage control and stage dominance comes from a character with mobility or a character that's very quick on their toes. But more times than not, it comes from characters like Robin and the play style that Daph brings to the table. Being able to just stand in one spot and really control all aspects of a huge place like Battlefield, I mean, that makes all the difference between you winning this match and you losing. Mm -hmm. and like we talked about before, the sword turned into a projectile. <laughs> Oh, nice. Give me some space. Three, There's three some up hammers. There's some hammers. Yes. Playing whack-a-mole right now with that. I like uh -oh. it. Here we go. So that's not happening, man. Is that going to be he a said, thing? He said, I seen what that one Bowser Jr. did in Florida. It ain't happening again, man. <laughs> it ain't happening again. It ain't happening here. Oh, and run off back here. Wow. Daff on fire here. 82%. I mean, he would have been at more percent, but I mean, he just kept finding more and more opportunities for Nosferatu. Right. And that was just a simple matter of death being able to outspace his opponent. Because that outsmash would have finished him. Oh, that it would have. He's strong. Oh, delicious. I'll, I'll take that. More Nas for you. Okay, the Mecha Coop was coming out. There you go. He's, he was being a little hesitant on throwing those out, only because right when the match started, Daft just took it from him. Again, another jump off the platform back here. What is the bows to do here? Nice. Get that out of here. Okay, he goes for the Z-drop that time, playing it a little bit more safe. Oh, oh no. Fuck. No dare for you. Okay, oh, is he able no. to get the aerial extension? Oh, he did the not double. buffer that correctly. Absolutely not. And the double air dodge there, just narrowly escaping. Both of those backer opportunities. The fouls here. Back against the wall, and he's starting to run out of options. There we go. And that's that's kind of the unfortunate thing about Bowser Jr. If he can't get his, his setups going, he's as good as dead. Right. But that last stock, it was strike one, strike two, and then he finally hit the home run. It was, man. Nice. Betted it all with that forward smash run right on the ledge, but that actually is a good option, though. To catch uh, catches rolls, catch catches neutral get ups. Hey, right. if you jump in the right space, it might even catch that too. But forward smash is definitely really safe for Bowser Jr. But when, too much of a commitment, man. Yeah, when too much of a directly behind you. Yeah. There was so much commitment there, he almost married it. It was almost put a ring on it. <laughs> it was way too much. Of <laughs> oh my, betted it all. All right. <laughs> okay. And going to another Robin stage, man. <laughs> that joke is palpable. Dude, right? <laughs>
palpable. It's right. still tasted in my mouth. Right. Wow. Speaking of getting a taste, Daph getting a taste of his own medicine. Rise right of the Mad Star is being pelted with projectiles. Okay, nice. Up air right in there. And I want save. And that time, after finally putting a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> with the force, right, so maybe, maybe uh, Battlefield, he kind of assumed he would have a better time getting in on Robin because Robin didn't have the space you know, yeah. to, to throw projectiles around. But maybe now he's changing his strategy a little bit. He said, okay, well, you know what? Give me the space to kind of, you know, prepare, set up. I don't really care if you have L Thunder. Yeah. Who cares, man? I mean, they're just projectiles that help you uh, solidify wins. Right. Who cares? Very interesting though. Dad more on the aggressive in this match. Yeah, the dog in the middle of the stage. And just Robin has the projectiles I can just travel the full distance. I mean, he can apply so much shield pressure from the other side of the room. What's the point of approaching? What is the point of approaching here on Duckman? There isn't. There isn't a point. Especially against, with, with all the projectiles in the world. Just go for it. But I think the Bows knows that, and he's kind of forcing Dad in this time. And as you see, every time he goes for fall away fair, he's able to punish with the fair of his own. I'm a little disappointed that none of the ducks have been taken yet. Right. And they're just not playing duck hunt at all. No, absolutely not, man. You know, we don't want to hurt any ducks. You don't want to get Peter called on this. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that. Okay, he's able to catch, unfortunately not able to catch the sword that time, but that's okay. Hey, oh. Nice cross up. Yeah. Fantastic the eye though there coming oh. out from that. Oh my goodness. Oh, and nearly escapes that. Dang. Just misses it. It narrowly escapes the Cooper cart. I like that. There okay. you go. 140%? Is that going to do it? No. Unfortunately not. He's not. And Dab kind of in the position where he's want he's been wanting to be this whole match with maxed out raid. Yep. Wow. Cleans up that first stock with an up air. Now, this is the point in time where Robin is going to stand off in the cut. He's going to stay back, and he's going to go for setups. Man. He doesn't have to approach anymore if he doesn't want to. Right. Getting his heel on with that Nasiratsu there. Quickly putting the bows at 43%. Hey, there's the first duck. Yep. There we go. Duck is out of here, man. All right, now he's going to give himself a setup so he can get in there. Oh, good power shield, though. Okay, falling up there, but tries to go for another one. Gets a little too spontaneous and then meets the drill that is there. And the crowd is behind my man, the bows here. I'd like to see Bowser doing a little bit more grabs. I think that's that's probably a better option for him yeah. right now. I agree. Interesting, though, there. Goes for the empty hop in the down smash. I would have thought we would have seen another grab there. Who knows? I mean, then again, no, I'm no I'm no extraordinary. I'm no professional player. I'm just up here talking. <laughs> We're just up here wondering when they're going to tomahawk. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Staying on top of the dog there. Ooh, nice Thoron. And this match is still very doable for the Bows, even though he sits at a very unfortunate 100 and... Well, okay. Never mind. He knew he messed it up. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. But not even allowing me to finish my praise oh, towards the Bows. Death. I, I think his name should be spelled Death. Can we just go ahead and add Death? an E? We, yeah, we need to add an E. Into oh, his oh name. my. <laughs> wow. Very solid job there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful showing as always, man. As Death returns to Michigan. Haven't been here. I don't think he's been here since Big House. Little Big no. House and Big House. Mm -hmm. When was the last time he was here? Right.